All right, we finished the requirements of exercise one. We got the black cartoon jumble or line art jumble. Now we have the bonus finishing extra that you can do. And that's just to give it color and effects. So we go back to Photoshop or Photo P, but this is the section I'll be teaching things in Photoshop. And what I'm going to do is make a duplicate of this combined image and turn off the one underneath. So I only have one layer turned on right now. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to say rasterize the layer style. The, the overlay layer style I gave it that filled in everything with black just in case there are any kind of stray pixels. I'm going to rasterize those now into pixels within the layer instead of a, an effect that's, that's just affecting the pixels in the layer. And now I'm going to do something that Arturo Herrera does when he does digital work. So he'll cut out kind of the, the Disney coloring book and make a composition. But then he'll take a new piece of fabric and cut that shape with an X-Acto knife out of that fabric. So I'm going to find kind of an interesting Aztec colored fabric maybe with pattern and I'm just going to do this in a Google image search and I'm going to make it large right but not black and white because I wanted to have lots of color so maybe something like this open link in new tab Let's see, maybe if instead of fabric, I just say illustration. So it doesn't look so flat. Though a lot of Aztec stuff is going to look kind of flat. Maybe take out pattern. <laughs> so much easier with comics. Oh, here we go. Something like this. Something like this. That's cool. All right. So now I have all of these. They're all over a thousand pixels. I'm going to save them into my folder. Some of them are blurry. That's okay. Because they're screen grabs from videos. Now I'm going to bring these in and stretch them just like we did before with our line art. Now I'm doing it with these kind of background colors. I'll just leave them as smart objects for the moment. And just like I made my, my own line art by combining other people's pixels, now I'm going to be making my own colors by combining these, like stretching out the fabric so that it covers. All right, now, I'm going to use opacity and blending modes to get something interesting. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to select all of them and then I'm going to merge them together and that will automatically rasterize them. So I say layer, merge the layers. I've selected those three. So now that's all in one layer. So this is now like a fabric. I love that little skull there, but that's not going to be in my final. That overlaps my image, right? Now, just like Arturo Herrera, I have to need to cut out this shape from this fabric. And how do I do that? I use my magic wand. I'm on the layer where it's all combined. And instead of selecting white, there is no white. I'm going to select on the empty space with contiguous unchecked. That's going to select all of the empty space. So now I have to swap that selection. Remember, good use of Photoshop is good selecting. And so I say select inverse. And that swaps it. So now it's the inside of that empty space, which is where all the black lines are. And now I'm just going to duplicate like a cookie cutter, Command J, and cut out that shape from that fabric. If I turn on my white background, I'll see what that looks like.
Make sense? All right. So now I'm going to save that as a copy. Well, first I'll save my Photoshop file because it has now all those color options in it as well. I can do infinitely more. And then I'm going to save a copy. And I'm going to call this my copy in color. So I'm going to add color because I don't want to overwrite my other JPEG. And change it to a JPEG. To my folder or to my desktop, right? I'm going to also mark that orange. And that's the other thing I can load into the assignment in Canvas. So if you want to update your assignment, you just click on the three little dots on your post and you say edit. And then you can add to it with your, your JPEG. This is the same way you will resubmit projects if you improve them for the future for a new grade. All right. And that's the most you are asked to do with this project, right? 